It is time once again for another production of the Housatonic Musical Theater Society, The Sound of Music, March 12th through the 14th. Uh, the 12th on 730, uh, that is a Thursday night, Friday the 13th at 730, and then Saturday, March 14th, two shows at 2 and 730. Uh, by the way, once again, uh, their website is terrific, so if you have any questions or information, hmts.org. But right now we welcome in, uh, once again, uh, Michael Berkeley and uh, Lori Belter. Good good day, everybody. Good, good day, morning. Marshall. So, once again, the Housatonic Musical Theater Society uh, has got a show coming up, and uh, it's not that far away uh, now. We're, re we're recording this uh, right at the end of February. Uh, but uh, so, once again, let's, let's take to the show and, and how you presented it, first of all, uh, to the kids. So, Michael, I'll start off with you there. Well, it's a classic. It's a classic Roger Hammerstein musical. Um, it actually was written and was first on Broadway with Mary Martin in 1956. So it's been around for a while, the famous movie with Julie Andrews in 65. I mean, it's, it's a great show, and it's about important stuff. It's very entertaining and fun, and it's kids and nuns, how can you go wrong? And, but it's also about political importance. Well, it's as important politically as a, as a as a show like West Side Story. I mean, uh, there are shows that entertain you, but when you get down to the nitty gritty of the show, there's really an important statement to be made about human and and the way humans act. Well, it's true, and it was in, in the late '30s, just before the Anschluss and Nazi moving into Austria, and um, it was a very important time, and people were very confused. Now, Lori, uh, how, how, how have the students, I call them kids, i got to get away from doing that because they're students and they're not kids students. anymore. <laughs> uh, kids are three to five years old, and nowadays anything older than that uh, are students. How, how do the students take in? Uh, were a lot of the students familiar with this or, or not? Um, no, I don't think a lot of them were, which is kind of surprising because the movie obviously has been very accessible for a number of years. Uh, what we did first of all, though, was we asked Darren Baer, who's a history teacher at Housatonic, to give us an overview of that time period and what it might have been like in Austria uh, right before the Anschluss happened. And it was fascinating, and I think the kids really grasped that. I think it put them in a place so they could understand what was going on politically and socially in the world that we were, were about to create. So I think it was a kind of an interesting introduction for them to this show. I think also what might make a show so so interesting uh, to the students nowadays is there's a clear choice of who you like and who you don't like. I mean, the show develops uh, with everybody uh, at first. Uh, everybody's a likable character at first, but as the show develops, certain traits develop, and you see the incredible differences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's quite amazing. Um, Franz the butler uh, is siding with the Nazis. Um, Ralph. Rolf sides with the Nazis, who is in love with Liesel, the daughter of Captain Von Trapp. Captain Von Trapp makes a very big statement in not uh, working with them. He was actually in the Navy, and they were really wanting him to join um, one of their boats, and he turned them down, which was a, a huge uh, deal for he and his family. As we all know, they had to leave the country. Uh, we're talking about The Sound of Music, March 12th to the 14th, the Housatonic Musical Theater Society, hmts.org, for tickets and more information. Uh, and let's let's get back to the story and and the students itself. When Lori was here just before you got here, Michael, I said, so this is a pretty big cast. And, and I'm told, no, this is not one of the biggest casts that you've had. You've, it's not. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's about 25 kids this year, and we do have uh, a few from the local area grammar schools that are playing our younger kids, uh, Kurt, Brigitta, and Marta, and Gretel. So we're very excited to have them join us. But um, interestingly enough, it's, it's one of our smaller casts this year. Uh, I want to remind people that... Uh the, the Housatonic Musical Theater Society survives on ticket sales, yes, but also every year, uh, and this is what's great about that, they have they have a list of businesses that underwrite and sponsor them. This year, once again, Belter Builders, Ed Harrington, Elise Harney Real Estate, Magic Wand Cleaning, Salisbury Bank and Trust, and Torrington Savings Bank. It's it's you know this has become an integral part, I do believe, uh, of the of the high schools 
teaching as well as not only the students getting able to act. Mm-hmm. It is, much, most definitely. And I'd also like to add William Parati and Sons to that list. They've been very generous with us over the past few years. All right. So now, uh, what's been the two things? What's been the most difficult thing uh, to get across to the students that are performing? And what, what are the things you both are most surprised about once uh, you started rehearsing? Well, I think it's deceptively simple. There's a lot of difficult musical stuff in the show that we've discovered. With the nuns, there's very complex harmony, which is wonderful. But it's, it take, it's challenging. And um, the kids actually have do a lot of harmonizing as well. So that's a challenge. Um, what do you think is the most difficult thing? I suppose, I'm not sure. I think, I think that they've really embraced the research of the, the politics of the time, and they wanted to do that. And so we spent some time doing that. So that's not difficult for them. Is is this this show uh, a lot different than than a big song and dance? I mean, you know, uh, well, there wow isn't them. a lot of song and dance yeah. in this show. Yeah. I mean, there is waltzing and there's the Lendler. <laughs> I was going to say there isn't a lot, but the 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 songs and the music and the dance that are there are important. Right. Very yes. important. Very important. Time they the tie place, a, they, yes. t- they tie a pretty depressing story together, and in the end, make it what it should be, which is. Uh, a happy story. You know, it's the only show th- that um, Rogers and Hammerstein did not write the book to for. They didn't write the book. They usually write the book of music and lyrics, but this one they didn't. And so they said, you know what, we're going to have to make this one of our best scores because that will compensate for the fact that the book isn't our book and it may not be as strong. And therefore, they really came up with a gorgeous score. And it's got some of the best songs. You know, I, you have a very strong male character in the captain there, but but I I tell you my 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 two favorite characters uh, are are the captain. But then I do I I I, t- I pick the children because I think the children <laughs> I think the children are like the laces on a sneaker. They they tie it all together. They do. They do. And our our kids are absolutely fabulous. We've been very very lucky to have cast them. Mm-hmm. So, uh, th- so now I'm going to compare this to, to shows you've done in the past. I would think this show compares a little bit to South Pacific. Well, it's the same kind of formula of a Roger Hammerstein show. It's about important political issues, but there's also highly entertaining stuff. There's Honey Bun and there's all this stuff, and there's kids, um, or a, two kids. Um, so, yeah, it has that in common. And that strong male character in the lead. Uh, which, which, which is common. We're talking about, once again, The Sound of Music, the Housatonic Musical Theater Society, uh, and it comes up uh, March 12th, 13th, and 14th. Uh, March 12th at 7.30. Uh, f- that's a Thursday, Friday, uh, the 13th at 7.30, and two shows on Saturday, uh, the 14th, uh, 14th at uh, 2 and 7.30. Uh, once again, because you've been doing this at the high school now for how long? 17 oh. years. No. Really? <laughs> you know, I look back and I say to myself, yeah, it's amazing. Wow. Uh, time flies uh, when you've been doing something that long. But I think the great thing about about what you're doing uh, at, 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 at the high school is that I think arts is such a big part of our lives. And I remember when, I mean, we, we can go back to the, the dark ages when I was in high school. Yeah, we had a musical production, but it wasn't, it wasn't presented like this is presented. It was presented, okay, it was back then we were artsy fartsy. Well, this, like I said, this gives ch- students a chance to participate, to learn, and yet to, to act. And I think if I had that, if I think I had that opportunity when I was in high school, I really would have taken advantage of it uh, the way it's portrayed now. And you guys obviously are, are, are the people, the linchpin, you talk about it, but you have a lot of other people that work with you to make this all possible. Well, we do. We, we hold the bar very high. And so we bring in lots of professional support from the musicians to the costume designer to the set designer, lighting designer, sound designer. And um, they're, they've become sort of a team. They've been with us for many years. And you also have the cooperation of the high school and 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 the administ- and the administration. This is all necessary to to make things like this happen. It is, and we've been very lucky uh, to have that support over the years. Uh, when we first started out, it wasn't it wasn't um, something that was really looked on as as something that might benefit the students, unfortunately. But we kept pursuing. 
And as the program has grown and um, the administration has changed, we can now see that this really does add to the child's education. Uh, it adds to their sense of well-being, self-worth, self-esteem. Um, in the end, not all of these children obviously will go into theater, but uh, they, for whatever they do, they will take this experience with them and be able to talk in front of people, be able to uh, be self-assured if they're ever in a group situation. So we find it very valuable, and I'm glad that the administration has um, looked favorably on it. And by the way, there's no better way to learn history than by doing a musical. I was going to say, <laughs> it, it's part of the curriculum, and it's and I was always... T I had a teacher when I was at, at high school that always added something different in to the subject they were teaching because it opened up an avenue for people that might not be interested in it all of a sudden to be, to become interested and and then take it beyond I, long after they're finished with what they're doing with you they carry on this what they've learned in life yeah absolutely yeah, no, it's really important and we see it happening all the time you know i i, I think a big change happened at Housatonic when the the formation of uh, the, the 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 separate art society uh, formed really really opened up the, the floodgates and at Housatonic where where all of a sudden this was not considered as something that was frivolous or an extra but it was an important part of the school year it's central yeah it, it has turned into be that way and we're absolutely thrilled that uh, we've been able to contribute such a great program to the school and don't you think it also affects the students that and and the parents and that that don't partake in it but their friends do and all of a sudden by that connection they're involved in the process as well. Yeah, exactly. it really it outreaches in so many different ways. Uh, we've had two wonderful young ladies help design our program cover. Um, the arts, uh, the um, metal shop has helped uh, with our set. The woodworking shop has helped with our set. So even though these kids may not be with us on a day-to-day -day basis, they are seeing and contributing. And then when they do see the show, they're very proud of what they see that they've built and it's it's being used and it's, um, it's rewarding for them. Well, once again, tickets are available online at hmts.org, but people can also come to the to the door that night oh, and sure. tickets will be available. Mm -hmm. yes. That's the great thing about the, about Who's the Tonics Auditorium. It seats a lot of people and every seat really is a good seat and since they fixed the auditorium up, it's really not a bad place to see a show. It's, no. it's a great place to see the show. We do open up the balcony on Friday nights and we have a $5 ticket for that seat upstairs. So we've tried to make it really accessible for families to come. Now it's a great place to see a show but I have to ask you, there's not much wing space behind <laughs> <laughs> but there's there's no wing not space. on Broadway. There's not a lot of wing no, space. No, but we don't have fly so, space either. Well, we don't so. have that. So. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been a challenge um, with our sets, but our sets are absolutely beautiful this year. They've been de designed by Savannah Relos, who works up with the Berkshire Theater Group up in Pittsfield. And uh, it's a very simple set, but it's stunning. And I think, Michael, what, what you do is you provide real music uh, with the, the shows. You, that's something that you always have done with anything that you've been involved well, with. Well, it's called a musical yeah, for yeah, a reason. Yeah. And the music is very important. And so we bring in, a, what do we have, um, 14 this year? 10. 10 professional musicians. And we actually and also have one school. student coming to join us again this year. She played last year with us, right. so we're excited that she's back. Yeah. But there's nothing like having the live music there oh, no. to, 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 to accompany the acting and the dancing and, and everything else that goes on on stage. And your lighting also is also very yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, again, we, we hire the professionals um, that are in the area. Lucas Pulowski, uh, who's working with the Mahawi Theater up in Great Barrington now, has been our lighting designer. And Graham Stone, who everyone knows and loves yeah. around here, is our sound uh, designer. So... Uh, Amber Cameron is our choreographer. Betsy Howie is our dramaturg. Kate. So we have Kate DeAngelis is our costume designer. Um, we've really given the kids quite a professional platform uh, to uh, learn from. And uh, it shows, I think. And I think they're very respectful of the people that we've brought in and their time and energy and talents. Once again, the sound of music. Uh, is uh, March 12th through the 14th, uh, Thursday the 12th at 7.30, Friday uh, the 13th at 7.30, and two shows on Saturday uh, the 14th at 2, at 2 and 7.30 uh, at Housatonic Valley Regional High School, the Burgess Auditorium. Uh, and tickets are available online, hmts.org, or uh, at the theater 
uh, itself. And I have to ask this question. Michael, you're keeping yourself busy, I, I see. I am. I am. <laughs> and uh, I by the way, happy. That. I mentioned it was Michael's birthday before we recorded this, so happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> it's, always great, it's always great to see you two, uh, and it's always great to know uh, how involved you get uh, the students uh, in our area involved in, in, in putting on a production like this. Just keep up the great work. Thank you, Marshall. Thanks.